Did you want to speak a little bit on the reason why you took a sabbatical? Or is that something you want to talk about later now or what? I mean, I, I could share. Yeah, go ahead. Because I think it's I think it's right right on par with what's going on with that other pastor. Why he yeah. felt like he needed to. He said he got to the point in his walk um, with the Lord where it, he just felt like he couldn't give any more of himself. Yeah. I did, I, see, my problem is I couldn't see that that's what I was going through. Mm. I kept giving, giving, giving. And then one of the signs was like... Um, my sermons began to be very dry and very like, uh, you know, I felt like I, I was, you know, lifting weight, lifting weights on, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, and I was exhausted. I was tired. I couldn't lift anything. I couldn't say anything that I wanted to say. I was discouraged. My mind was on what people thought, whatever. I was distracted, mm. agitated, you know, um, uh, not focused, um, not able to give uh, of myself. Um, I felt spent. Um, and so all the signs were there, you know, and I needed to be told mm. you need time off, mm. you know. And uh, the so Stan Morton uh, was the one who said it best uh, when it came to my need of rest. He made me feel like it wasn't anything that I did wrong. You know what I'm saying? It was just a reality of where my soul was. A lot of times, you know, a, a pastor is there uh, because, you know, he just gives, gives, gives and hasn't used wisdom to really rest. So it could, yeah, of course, I would attribute it to our, it being our fault, but it's not like ill intent, mm. you know? Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, I, I needed rest. I needed time off. Uh, from just working full time and doing full time ministry, pretty much, <laughs> you know, doing both, I needed that time off. It's just that what I also needed was someone to say it's going to be okay, mm. and I was told otherwise by some folks. You know, uh, I was told how wrong it, I was, and you know, the things that I was going through were pointed out. And you know what? You know. That might be necessary in some cases, but in my case, I don't think it was. Uh, I think I needed to be told by someone who cared carefully and, and then to be walked with, you know. <clears throat> so that was, that you know, that was me. Uh, that's what I went through. That's good. That's, well, all, the reality is this, because today's episode is called Food for the Soul. Um, we do need to be feeding our souls. Mm. Um believers it is second peter three eighteen. believers in christ are commanded to grow it was a command that peter gave um milk and the meat of the scriptures um we have to constantly keep in mind because it's so important in our development and our sanctification mm. as we grow closer to christ mm. We're constantly going to have to look into the milk and the meat and and spiritually be nourished in order for us to grow. Yeah, it's part of the process. Um, and it's deeper than negative thoughts. It's deeper than having positive thoughts. It's so much deeper than that. We talked about that. And I think it was episode 13, positive vibes only. Um, yeah. We talked about that. It, it's just so much deeper than that. Um, since then you have been raised with christ set your hearts on things above where christ is seated at the right hand of god set your mind on things above not on earthly things mm -hmm. i said that earlier and i'm bringing that up again because that's what we have to keep in mind mm -hmm. it's not about negative thoughts it's not about positive thoughts it's about godly and ungodly thoughts right edifying and unedifying thoughts that's the simple matter. That's the simple truth of all of this is, you know, how does this contribute to your growth and to others growth, your thoughts that you're thinking right now? And if it's not, be careful. Yeah. Be careful because it can come. It can contribute to you being spiritually unhealthy. It's like ba grabbing a bag of chips. <laughs> <laughs> What are you trying to say, bro? <laughs> I got chips laying around here, you know? I got nah. a bag of chips right next to my bed, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> right. 
there's that whole spiritual health and spiritual unhealthy um, that we have to keep in mind. 